Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about bagel breakfast sandwiches. We got three different varieties. You guys stay tuned. So here's the idea. You guys know how my mind works. I can't just pick one, right? So now we got three varieties going on today. Uh, this is the idea. Sausage, egg, and cheese, kind of like just a classic. We're gonna use a little pepper jack and I've got it on a jalapeno cheese style bagel, okay? Then for the classic bacon, egg, and cheese, got some cheddar cheese, some homestyle bacon, and that's going to be your absolute classic. And then the one that I've got my heart set on. Everything bagel, my favorite. Ribeye steak, shaved thin, some onions, and then we're going to mix a little bit of cream cheese and this borzen cheese with shallot and chive. I think that's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Of course, we got our eggs, and we're going to put it all on the Traeger today. You ready for bagel overload? Yes. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I do. It's gonna be good. I'm I think starved. they are. I am too. <laughs> All right. So what first things first. The first thing I think we need to start doing is probably getting our bacon and our onions down. So this bacon uh, is homemade. And I'm gonna put the onions right here. So that fat from the bacon can come down and season some of those onions. Before I start shaving this, let's get a good chunk of sausage off. Something like that. Nice little piece of sausage. <laughs> Might as well go and cut the rest for the girls because you know they're going to want sausage. All right, with the ribeye, cut this tail off. I'm going to save some of the fat. That's going to be the, the oil that we're going to need for the flavoring. So I'm just gonna cut that a little bit. Matter of fact, we can probably go and put it on the grill now and start that rendering. Cut this out. I was gonna pound the steak out thin, but the problem I see is, you guys know as well as I do, you take that one bite and you get unlucky and then the whole piece of steak ends up uh, coming out of the bagel and I don't like that. So we're gonna do kind of like a, a shaved ribeye style. More beef fat. Grains are running this way. So we're gonna slice it thin this way. Now we got some of that bacon grease. Slide those onions over there. Just picking up some of those flavors from the griddle. Fat from the ribeye is rendered nicely. You see how much fat now we got on the flat top grill? That's perfect, okay? That's absolutely perfect. So two things we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the ribeye steak, right in that fat, get it out thin. We'll season that in a second. Let it cook for just a quick second, maybe about a minute on one side. We're gonna flip it and then smash it. I'm just looking to smash it about the circumference of a bagel. Remember, it's going to shrink some. So something like that right there. I'm just going to butter these bagels. Tops and bottoms. Let those start toasting. So with the spread I'm talking about, you know, obviously we're only making one bagel. So I'm just looking at like, you know, just enough to kind of like a 50-50 blend. Kind of work those in there. Very easy. Everything's softened. Just 
just like that. Now that's gonna be our spread for our bagel. For the steak one. Yep. I went ahead and cut this side of the burners off just to lower that temperature for our eggs. So I'm gonna move these over. All right, so we have a couple egg choices. I think the first one we're gonna do is just gonna be like a, basically just like a, what'd you call it? A scramble slash lily pad. Yeah. Somebody said that I should try my seasoning and eggs. Typically I'm just a salt and pepper guy, but you know what? If they're telling me to try my own stuff, why not? Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Seems like it would go well. All right, a little butter. See how that butter's re reacting on the griddle? How it's not burning? Very soft bubbles. To me, that's a, I mean, that is a perfect sign for a great temperature. I'm gonna shoot it real quick to show you guys. Where's my, 277 is what I'm shooting. So we're gonna try this. Everybody keeps asking me what temp, and I don't know what temp. Oh yeah. Looking good. Try like a sunny side up egg. Put a dome over it. We're we'll gonna flip this egg right here. See how we kind of scramble it? Made it a little bit more thicker. Kind of about something right there. Just let us do its thing. Sausage is looking good. Oh yeah. Bottoms are toasted. Oh yeah. So I don't need to. All right, we'll pull that off. See how your eggs are cooking nice and slow. That's what we're looking for right there, okay? Looking good on that. Maybe just a touch of seasoning on those as well. Pepper jack on the sausage. Those eggs are cooking and then we're gonna put cheddar on our eggs because that's gonna go on the bacon. Just like that. Nice toasted bagels. All right, first one up, sausage. Woo. The classic. Bacon, it's three pieces of bacon like the uniform wall for bacon, egg, and cheese. And then the one I'm excited about the most, take that spread. Take that steak. Those onions. Oh, there's a little bit Golly, of fat. It smells good. There's a little bit of fat in there right there. That's a nugget just waiting to happen. And there you go. Breakfast style bagel egg sandwiches. Well, I hope I did it justice. Kind of did the standard bacon, egg, and cheese. Up the game a little bit of that sausage with the pepper jack. And we got that jalapeno cheese crust bagel. And then obviously the one in the middle that I've been looking for or waiting for is the um, everything bagel, the shaved ribeye, the caramelized onions, 
that boars in a cream cheese mix. I just hope that sets it over the top. All right, enough Ooh. talk. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh yeah. Mm. And then of course it's your classic bacon, egg and cheese. Mm. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> mm. Let me see. Mm. Mm. That boars mm. and cream cheese spread. Was that my idea? No. <laughs> You're doing enough moaning for both of us today. <laughs> I know I know people comment about that. <laughs> it's herby. It's light. It actually doesn't even feel as heavy as the sandwich looks. That's the uh that's a golden ticket right there for a nice sandwich. I gotta be honest with you. I'd love to see your thoughts. No doubt about it, the steak, egg, and cheese wins. I mean, it is phenomenal. But the bacon comes in second. The classic. The sausage is good, but the bacon, just for some reason, I'm typically not a bacon guy. I'm actually a sausage guy. Mm. When are you talking about my moaning? Good Lord of mercy. Golly. Somebody said we shouldn't eat after each other. It's disgusting. <laughs> You kiss me. <laughs> What's the no, difference? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> Am I mm. nuts? I know. Mm. The classic, the bacon, egg, and cheese. Mm. I don't know. Do you feel the same, or maybe your three is different? The the steak, for sure, is loaded with flavor. It it puts the other ones to shame. And it's not as heavy as what it seems. No, that, that boars and cream cheese spread, so simple, but so dang flavorful. You almost get a little bit of sweetness of the onion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then what's your second? Probably the bacon. I, I'm telling you. I thought so, too. I was I, surprised. I'm a sausage guy all the way. I think I like the cheddar cheese better. I think is what it is. Ooh, a burger. American versus cheddar. Anyways, guys, there you go. So, that regard. <laughs> you can see the the ball. Oh. <laughs> Our daughter's practicing volleyball. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook, where ironically, we talk about griddles, all the griddles, the new ones, the old ones, the ugly ones, and the pretty ones. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. <laughs> Which ones are ugly? <laughs>